Tonight at City Hall, Burlington City Council will be once again voting on the city's public safety. Acting Police Chief John Murad has been appointed to become Burlington's police chief for the second time. NBC5 Sid Boulay has more on the divide over the decision ahead of City Council's meeting tonight. Sid? Brian Alice, John Murad has been Burlington's acting chief of police for about three years now, but some on City Council still say that he might not be the best candidate for the job. It's been a really tough three years, no doubt. A familiar face, acting police chief John Murad, facing city council for a second time. In January of 2022, progressive city councilors voted down the mayor's original nomination of acting chief John Murad. But after town meeting day brought in a newly elected Democratic majority, Mayor Weinberger is ready to try again. For anyone wondering why now, why him, you know, the answer is pretty simple. Our city needs and deserves a strong and reliable leader in our police department, and we have been fortunate to have one in Chief Murad for the last three years. Now it's up to city council. For some, the decision is clear. He's done an excellent job of holding the department together. I mean, I, I fear that without him, if he had left, I, I hate to think what would have happened. It's not that I'm opposed to John Murad being chief. I just think there's some things that need to happen first. Others question if enough has been done to vet other candidates as a community grows more concerned with the rate of violent crime around Burlington. He has brought stability to the department but a stability that maintains the status quo and all of the trust issues and all of the um, kind of culture problems that we see isn't what we want. To his credit, he has said he will stick with us. I think that a no vote on the chief is inviting him to leave, quite honestly. And if that happens, I think that we, there are a lot of other people that go with him. Um, so I think that's a pretty reckless vote. But Hightower says she needs to see improvement from Murad before she'd vote yes. I would love to be in charge of a performance improvement plan and implement that, but since I can't do that, all I can do is vote no on the fact that it hasn't happened. Now tonight's city council meeting is getting underway in just a few minutes at 615, and the vote to confirm Murad is just one thing on the agenda. Now we'll keep you updated with those results as they come in. Live in Burlington, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.